and contemporary political landscape. I think it is my responsibility to introduce myself, what I am, and what we are doing. I am a Mukikaran. The way the national parties, let it be Bharati Janta Party or Congress, didn't give a damn about the responsible bifurcation of Andhra Pradesh, combined Andhra Pradesh. I grew up in Chennai, been pulled out for, because the film industry has been shifted to Hyderabad. First time I felt, after a long time, though we speak the same language, maybe different dialects, and some other situations there, for a long time, for more than or Patuvashit Mela, Telangana, Andhra Andhra Karundi, or second grade citizens Madhuri, Anga Telangana leaders humiliate Panarikada, treat Panarikada. Then one of whatever years ne, during the time la. When I was in Chennai, I used to understand Madhuri feel Panla, but very language, but dialect different. In the local pool, more politics. And sets were burnt out, film sets were burnt out. A lot of issues happened there. But when I, go, when I look back, what could be the reason for all this? Is about the political leadership and their mismanagement, their faulty policy making. It caused great inconvenience, humiliation to the people of Andhra Pradesh and to the people of India in general. So none of our political classes, none of our political class, none of our political leaders could not address what people were suffering. Yenna makkal yenna suffera agarangalo, yenna face pandrangalo, yar me represent pandrathilla. The Congress, the National Party Congress and BJP, it was BJP which initiated the bifurcation process. The statehood could have given in a more responsible manner, but not in a haphazard manner like this. The reason why I had thought, what made me was, I said, in the center process, Makkal ke enge, enge me say illa. Il enge or go respond, or go to pechik or say illa. It's only political class panna tappu ke. Political, political leadership panna mismanagement ke. And entire development has gone. We are far away from the development of Andhra Pradesh. Because of that reason, in 2009, in 2003, I had decided to come into politics. By 2007 and 8, I formed an NGO called Common Man Protection Force, which will initiate the political accountability. And that was the reason for it. And after that, when Mr. Chirinjari has started PRP, I left it and joined in PRP. I worked for PRP. We got around uh, 18 seats with a vote share of 18 to 19 percent in combined state. When now it comes to Andhra Pradesh, it was around 23, 24 percent. When the state was divided, on purpose I didn't contest. Because at this juncture, state needs a lot of support instead of splitting it, instead of fighting amongst ourselves. It is better if I support without contesting. Then we had a vote share of 23 percent. I didn't contest and I supported because of us. Bharati Janata Party and TDP could form the government and Mr. CBN could become Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh. With the great expectations, with the great hope, we rallied behind BJP, we supported Mr. Chandrababu Naidu. But the reality now is that deeply buried in uh, corruption, Mr. T uh, TDP governance is deeply buried in corruption. Where, whichever constitu there are 175 constituencies, whichever Constituency, you, you'll see a minimum a thousand crore worth of corruption in everywhere. Let it be a sand mafia, let it be basic uh, irrigation projects, whatever you could name it. There's widespread corruption there. At the same time, BJP, which went back on, his, on their word for special category status, it caused us a lot of pain, a lot of inconvenience, a lot of uh, uh, pain which we had gone through. 
So my purpose of coming here is, as a political party, we keep approaching, we go to US, we go to United States, we go to England, we go to UK, we go to other parts of the United Kingdom, we go to other parts of Europe, but we never get to know our neighboring states. So my purpose of this press meet or meeting is to introduce myself, to make sure that we understand each other before addressing our political leaders, before meeting the Tamil Nadu political leaders or South Indian other South Indian political leaders. This is from Jansena party, this is our first exercise to introduce to the people of Tamil Nadu, to introduce ourselves to the people of Tamil Nadu, that what we are, who we are. And I felt there is a need. In 2019, the future is going to be a coalition politics. A lot of regional players are going to play a very pivotal role, quite a prominent role. So at this juncture, I felt it is need of our to know your neighboring states and your neighboring political landscape as an actor. We get to know our counterparts in other, other parts of state, other parts of India, but hardly we get to know other parts of uh, leaders from political landscapes. So I would like to introduce, that's the reason why I came here. And we felt, and thought, in 2012 when I was traveling, in 2016, when uh, around Still, Ms. Ja, Tarachi Pulayevi, Sri Jalantha was alive, and I was shooting in Palachi. I could feel the anger of youth, angst of youth in Tamil Nadu. Some of them detest BJP, they detest Bharati Janta Party. They are quite angry with Bharati Janta Party, saying that. They come and meddle into our politics, into our political system. They're angry with the North ban. They're angry with the way they miss. And the then Chief Minister Sri Shunath Jayalalta was treated. And all this made them, made them extremely angry. Then I thought, one day, it might become a great movement. So they were saying, you know, in social networking, we're going to get a lot of movement. But then I never realized that one day it would be become a Jellicato movement. I mean, we don't see Jellicato movement as a small movement. We see it as the anger of youth, pain of youth, who are representing for a transformation in politics. They need self-respect, that's what they said. So in the, what context I came here was to make sure to convey myself how Bharati Janata Party, or TDP, are doing convenient politics or Congress to the matter. Somewhere there is a need for all the South Indians because as they become more smaller players, as we become more regional players, we tend to lose our power. The issue is here, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar, they are those who are going to decide the Indian political system. They are those who are going to decide what our future is going to be. And somewhere this, this has to be stopped. Somewhere we have to have a major say. Being the small players, we are losing ground, we are losing a say. So what we felt from Janasena party is we would like to approach each and every small players, like Pan India, which we would like to start from the southern part first. We want to approach, we want to say that unless all the regional players, small players come together, unless we have we come collective in 2019, so let us have a and understanding for let's watch it. The first exercise what we want to do is we want to come here. Interests can be safeguarded, and this is what made me to come here. And the bifurcation really caused a lot of pain in Andhra Pradesh, and this is what exactly I had conveyed to Honorable Chief Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji. That bifurcation has caused a lot of inconvenience. We, want, we are accustomed to bring back certain accountability. Whatever they promised, they should be given to us. If it is not, at least they owe us an explanation why they are not able to give it. And these are the reasons each and every player is using it for their complete convenience, each political player. And Janasana is very different. We want to make sure we want to bring back political accountability to all the political players we support. It. And I would like to request you all to look at the cause to look at the issues of North Indian dominance, especially Bihar, 
I'm not talking, when I'm talking about North Indian dominance, I don't mean between people. It is about the North Indian political class. We are upset. We are purely angry. So unless we create a very strong southern political movement, it would be very difficult in the times to come, in the years to come, to face the North Indian leadership. And also demand from JSPs to make sure to bring a, to have one more capital in the southern part of India, as Baba Sahib Ambedkar envisioned. And he wanted one larger state like UP or some other Bihar, especially UP, if they keep as one, they want to dominate the entire India in future. And what he had envisioned, it came true. And they didn't give us a great opportunity even to correct ourselves, even to give us a, a right, whatever we deserve. In a haphazard manner, the state had been divided. And today, the sad part is our own players, our own state political leaders, like Mr. Sri CBN, Sri Chandrababu Nayadigaru, and conveniently they have forgotten what Congress had done, what BJP had done. And as per the convenience, according to the convenience, they keep shifting the stand. And it is causing a lot of distress and a lot of distress amongst the current generation. So JSP is going to fight against this. And we demand the central government from the city of Chennai not to overlook the interests of South, to make sure that South is understood through people, not by the elected representatives. The problem of bifurcation was also Congress party by understanding the representative, they thought they had understood the Andhra Pradesh, which they haven't, because the elected representatives truly don't represent the people. So we wanted the national leaders to understand the pain and the agony of South, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, the rest of the states. My fear is, if we ignore this, it is like a problem is like this, such an elephant is in the room, we are trying to get it as if it is not existing. This is very much existing. My pain today is, if a simple dialect, difference, a little sharing of, power, sharing of uh, revenue, a sharing of uh, irrigation policies could cause a unified state into two states. Tomorrow it can replicate anywhere. Even it can replicate in Tamil Nadu, it can replicate in Karnataka. Or it, one day it could, after 20 years from now, people might ask for a different uh, country altogether. Though what I'm saying today, it might be ex excessive, but deep down, let us not forget the roots. There is ample op examples of there, ample opportunity, like uh, situations there where we could get into the such kind of situation. So to avoid all that, I think we have to, I want the central government to look at us, to look at the southern part of India, to make sure to notice our issues, not to ignore it just because we are, our number, our number of parliamentarians, number of seats are uh, small, small in number compared to Uttar Pradesh. All these things somewhere, deep down, we are initiating uh, a South Indian, a collective movement for the benefit of, for our rights of South India, to the central, uh, to the North Indian leadership, especially not to the people. People are always fine. It is only the North Indian political class. I personally feel you should understand more about South India. And that's what I am, I'd like to share. And this is what I'd like to say. So then I'd like to go for questions. Thank you very much.